Let's use the four-step process to solve this one. If we assume the delivery company's claim is correct, what is the probability of observing a sample proportion within 5% of their claim, 90%? That is, what's the probability our sample proportion is between 0.85 and 0.95? Our plan is to first list what we know about the sampling distribution of p hat when the parameter value is 0.9 and our sample size is 100. The shape of the sampling distribution of p hat is approximately normal because np is 90, which is greater than 10, and nq is exactly 10, which is exactly 10. This is good news because we can use normal calculations. The mean of our sampling distribution is p, the true proportion, 0.9. Also, if we assume the company has shipped at least 1,000 packages, the 10% condition is met, and we can calculate the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Let's start by drawing a normal curve. The center of our distribution is at 0.9, and since our standard deviation is 0.03, and we want to go all the way to 0.85 and 0.95, we need to go one and two thirds of a standard deviation in each direction. So let's shade that area. Now we can use norm CDF to calculate the probability of interest. To access it, press second, then the VARS button. This is our distribution menu. Go to norm CDF. Our lower limit is 0.85 and our upper limit is 0.95. Our mean is 0.9 and our standard deviation is 0.03. Press enter on paste and then press enter again. So our probability is approximately 0.9044. Now let's conclude. The probability of observing a sample proportion within 5% of the true delivery percentage, which is 90%, is about 0.90442. If 90.4% of all samples of 100 packages would have on-time delivery rates between 0.85 and 0.95, that means 9.6% of samples of size 100 would have on-time delivery rates outside of that interval. So even though the sample showed only 85% on-time deliveries, the company's claim might still be true, as about 9.6% of samples of 100 packages would result in on-time delivery rates 5% or more away from the true parameter value of 90%. One last note about this problem, you can get an even more accurate probability by using the binomial distribution. But using the normal approximation of the binomial distribution on the AP exam is just fine. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.